Hi, my name is Lara Blair and I own Lara Blair Images Portrait Studio in Camas, Washington. And today I'm going to be talking to you about night photography basics. When you're shooting at night outside, it really depends on whether you're photographing a scene without a person or if you're putting a subject in the image. If you would like to photograph a cityscape or a landscape at night, you're going to want to make sure you understand what aperture priority is and that's something that will be right in your manual that you can read it about online, has a lot of information about it as well and even tutorials that you can download and watch which is pretty cool to be able to do it before you head out. Um, you're going to set your aperture, whatever your f-stop you want it to be, on this aperture priority. And then your camera, so smart, it will tell you what your shutter speed should be. And because the shutter speed is going to be very, very low, you're going to have to have a tripod. Set your camera on it, set your aperture, and then um, the shutter speed, just click it, or the shutter, click it, walk away, and it'll take the image for you. You don't even have to touch it. It's kind of a nice way to go. When photographing a person, it's very, very helpful to have one of these little guys. This is a light meter. There are lots of different brands. You can get them online. Um, you can get them at your local camera store. And a light meter is something that you actually put in front of the person's face with the aperture that you want on it, click it, and then it tells you what to, sh to uh, set your shutter speed for your, um, your, your flash, which is really a great way to go because if the person's illuminated in the background, it's got little twinkly lights of the city, it can be a really, really neat image. Um, this is something you're really going to want to read your manual for, aperture priority, and a light meter. Great basics for night photography.